Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I've been reviewing my share of Chromebooks over the years, and each year they seem to get better and better. You're getting better displays, better build quality, they become more modern, and I think the Chrome OS has really matured the last couple of years into something of a really good viable option. So when the Asus announced the all-new Chromebook Flip C434, I quickly jumped on it. I loved its gorgeous Nano Edge display, I loved its beautiful premium metal build quality and sleek design. So I recently took delivery of it and I started putting it through its paces. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my unboxing and first look at the Asus Chromebook Flip C434. Coming up. Now before we unbox this bad boy, let's talk price. The Asus Chromebook Flip C434 comes in at $569. You can get it right now over at Amazon. I'll put my affiliate link below. And if you do buy through my link, of course, I will get a small commission. And that certainly helps out the channel, helps me produce more videos. And in the interest of disclosure, I bought this with my own money. I'm not being paid by Asus. I'm not being sponsored by Asus. Asus did not provide me with a review unit. So you know. Now, when it comes to the specs, let's get a quick rundown. Now, you can get it in three available options. You can get it with the Core M3. That's the one that's available now. That's the one I have. The Core i5 or the Core i7. These are the Y processors. They're eighth generation processors, and they're not the U processors, so keep that in mind. But with Chrome OS, you don't need as much power as you would with a Windows laptop. You can get it with either four or eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. My unit has four gigabytes of RAM, which is perfectly fine for the Chrome OS. You could also get it with either 32, 64, or 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage. My unit has 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage. And it's got a beautiful 14 inch nano edge display with a full HD resolution. That's 1920 by 1080. We'll go over that in just a little bit. And it's got a 48 watt hour battery. We'll also go over battery life and charging times in the full review. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now you get a pretty compact 45 watt power adapter. It's USB-C. You also get some documentation and warranty information as well. Now holding the unit for the first time, love the all metal design. It has a premium feel and look, that's for sure. Now, as far as the ports are concerned, on the left side, you have a USB-C port, a USB-A port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a volume rocker up and down along with the power button. The buttons are metal and have a really good feel to the touch. And on the right side, you get a micro SD card slot for storage expansion and a second USB-C port. And you get an LED indicator light letting you know it's charging. And it's got some pretty sturdy metal hinges that look nice as well. And the color and finish of this unit is called Spangle Silver. It actually looks really good in my opinion. I like it. And of course, this being a convertible laptop, you can put it into the tent mode. You could also put it into the stand mode. And of course, you can put it into the tablet mode. Now let's talk about the display. To me, one of the main attractions here is that 14 inch nano edge display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. That's a full HD resolution. It's a 16 by nine aspect ratio, and it has an 87% screen to body ratio with those micro bezels. That's not something we see every day with Chromebooks. I like what they're doing with this. Now it's a pretty sharp display. It's somewhat bright. I think it could be a little bit brighter, but it's not terrible. It's definitely good for indoor use so far, and even outdoor use except in direct sunlight of course but what I like about it is its sharpness it's rich it's got some nice full colors of course I will do my full testing in the full review to give you all the numbers really liking the keyboard it looks pretty good in terms of the backlit keyboard it's a multi-stage backlight on it so you can get work done in a dimly lit room or a dark environment they do light up light so it's, sometimes it's a little bit hard to differentiate the keys but overall it's a nice feature to have on a chromebook i don't feel like it's a little too shallow in terms of typing it has good tactile feedback and i don't feel like my fingers are going to bottom out it's been comfortable to type on so far and i'm impressed now, when it comes to the touchpad 24 hours in, I'm impressed. I like the two finger scrolling. It's buttery smooth. It's very responsive. And I like that the fact you can use all your gestures with the Chrome OS. It's been pretty good so far. 
The Asus Chromebook Flip C434 has a 48 watt hour battery, looking at about eight hours of normal use. But of course, I will do my full benchmarks when it comes to battery life on this, as well as charging times in my full review. So stay tuned for that. Performance is really good with that Core M3. I was a little concerned with that four gigabytes of RAM, but so far everything's fluid, very smooth, very snappy. The Chrome OS does really well on lesser processors and with less RAM. So that's the good news. I like the ability to run Android apps natively with this Chrome OS. I'm able to browse the web. I'm able to do productivity work. Nothing's really limited me so far. I'm impressed. When it comes to the audio, pretty loud speakers. They have a hint of bass. They're actually pretty good. I will give you more examples in that full review of the sound, but so far the speakers are sounding good. So stay tuned, my full review will have all the benchmarks. I'll go over performance, thermal issues, battery life. Of course, I'll test the display and a whole lot more. So stay tuned, that will be coming very soon. But in my initial impressions, 24 hours in, I'm liking this Chromebook. So what do you think so far about this bad boy, the Asus Chromebook Flip C434? This is a really nice offering. I'm really impressed so far. This design, by the way, is outstanding as far as build quality and looks. It looks really nice. I love its gorgeous nano edge display. It definitely gets bright enough and it definitely is crisp and sharp. I look forward to putting it through its paces in my full review coming very soon. But so far, this thing has really impressed me. I like its gorgeous design. I love its performance so far, that Core M3 processor. It's not gonna be a speed demon compared to other laptops, especially Windows offerings, but for what you need to do with this, which is mainly web browsing, running Android apps, this thing had no issues, and so far it's looking good. So stay tuned for the full review to find out if this is going to be a recommendation or not. But so far, this thing is looking pretty sweet. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.